Hi YouTube, thank you for joining me here today. This is CS Trades 101 with Cameron Simpson. I'm not a financial advisor or a broker, and nor do I want to be one. This is for entertainment purposes only. Do your own due diligence. Okay, we are covering some stuff to do with AMC today, some stuff that we need to get out of the way. Um, a lot of people haven't been talking about this. Um, I just wanted to bring this up because this is a potential problem that could hurt a lot of retail investors. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into the ticker symbol. We're going to cover that today. I like what I've seen. We're above $10. That's exactly what I wanted to get by. $10.02 to be exactly in my books. So we're at sitting at $10.05. Um, we are in the green. We went up 3.18 today, which is awesome. Awesome. And 0.60% in after hours. I like to see this consolidation. We're getting a lot of volume in here right now. We could use more, but we have enough to continue what we're doing today. It held us up above the rest. So what is happening with this is we're getting a substantial amount of side action, which is good. We are testing these levels and it would not go down. So we definitely are holding the support of resistance here at $10.03. That's why I said $10 and two would be perfect. We went above that, that locked us in. Okay, so it bounced us up here to the next level at $10.04. And it's holding. It's tried one, two, three, four, four times to um, to push down that, that um, line of support. Okay, the line of resistance, what we are testing is $10.08 as of closing so tomorrow morning i just wanted to say this could go up or down if we see a lot of red start buying so um I, i'm i'm not i'm very very bullish on this um this thing is going to squeeze guaranteed the numbers are all coming in now all the data is coming in um it's looking bad for the hedgies okay we get we're sticking it to them really good because it's hurting them we bankrupted about 20 percent of them so far so towards the statistics what i've been covering i've written wrote them all down and we're about 20 percent there's a lot of hedges out there's even here up in canada so bottom line is let's jump off that and actually talk about some factual information okay humans have the the um we have what it is is we have the habit of rounding things off it's just natural human instinct so for instance if you're going to buy a stock um you, you, pe people do sell sell limits right some of these apps have a tick mark that sells a, a sell limit has it puts a sell limit on okay sometimes you put a sell limit on one thing and it carries over to these other apps that it thinks that you it's like a smart feature it thinks that if you will sell at 20 that it'll just carry on that that's the number you want to stay with there's a problem with that okay it happened with gme went up to 100 bucks all of a sudden there's a sell-off for a day and it, we everybody's oh everybody's selling everybody said yeah they were and it was retail sellers selling but not wanting to that's the problem these sell limits were kicking off and they were and all of a sudden people were getting uh, messages in there on their phones and on their computers and stuff and emails saying that uh your stock has been sold at this freight with a time stamp because they have to do it for tax purposes and how much tax uh, all the tax form stuff and send you the, your information there's a problem with that. These people didn't want to sell, 99% of them, okay? So that hurts big time. You're kicking yourself in the ass for that, okay? So what I would like to do, and I would like all the wolf pack to do, is go in and check this, double check this stuff, because this is getting serious. This baby is going to squeeze. It's over with now. This is over with. It's done. It's squeezing. That's as far as I'm concerned. So, and a lot of other people too. So, the thing is, is um, don't let what happened with GME, like at $400, they're still trying to recover that because of those sell-off features, okay? Because it sold their stocks off, okay? And potentially it could turn people from 100,000 to millions, okay? There's a lot of sad stories out there. Just Google it. It's all common, common knowledge. So, um, just don't do a mistake like a lot of people did with AMC because it hurts all of us too, right? Especially when it hits those round numbers and then it tanks down a bit. It'll recover within a day or so because we got so much volume and so many people are holding this, okay? This is probably one of the most held uh, companies out there right now, okay? I know I'm holding mine. I know everybody I've talked to is holding an, uh, uh, a majority of the wolf pack have bought a substantial amount to start replenishing and keep on building up, building up and building up their portfolios, okay? So enough of the chitter chatter. Um, 
yeah, that's what, that's what I wanted to cover. Just double check this stuff. Just make sure and just go in there and it only takes a couple minutes to go into your apps and double check this stuff. I want you guys to be potentially very well off because of this. This is a life changer. This will only happen once in your life. This is like millions and millions to one, right? And by you buying these stocks, you've sealed the deal, okay? So I, I um, almost... And for certain that this thing will squeeze about three, four days before the share count um, on the second, June second, or potentially a week after. It's going to last only a couple days. Okay, it's not going to go up down within an hour. No, it's, it's not going to happen like that. But it will. Um, it'll definitely go up. We're sitting at over a hundred percent percentage on the lenders rate on these shares. It's huge. That's the the highest that's ever been recorded. People are doubling down like big time, big time. It's all over the internet. If you look at the numbers, I've never seen anything like this before. This is going to squeeze. And I'm not the only one thinking this. Um, just look around on the other YouTube channels. We're all in the same together. We're a team and we are sticking it to the hedgies and it's working. Okay, like I said, 20% of the hedge funds have already gone bankrupt or in bankrupt protection. This is factual information as of now, okay? That's why these big uh, um, institutions are investing and boom, boom, boom. You, if you look on these, uh, if you look under the news uh, articles and stuff on these trading apps, some of them disclose that stuff. Put another 20, 30% or even 50% on that because they're not telling us the correct information or they don't know, okay? And a lot of these trade platforms are owned by hedgies, okay? Um, so, take it from there. Wolf Cat Pack, keep it real and check those sell limits, please. I want to see you guys get rich. I want you guys to be sending pictures of you and your Lambos, hey? Come on, really? And I want to see one with AMC down the side with a rocket, some guy on a rocket going to the moon. That would be dope, okay? So, yeah, keep it real. You know what to do? Hit the subscribe button. Hit this is thumbs up give me a thumbs up and there's more videos to come out i got some preparing some some stuff right now for you guys for tomorrow okay have a good night keep it real